All right, guys, so some people have asked some questions about what it is exactly I do at some of the sporting events, particularly the football games. So just going to put together a quick video and just show you what my workflow is and what I got set up. All right, so those that follow the show know I'm pretty much a tractor user. Uh, for the demo here, I'm just going to use the S2 that I have uh, as my backup and the F1, which is what I actually use at the games. So I'm running Tractor Pro 2, and what I have set up here is a bunch of remix sets. So what I did is just went in and manually made a bunch of sound clips that I use during the games. So what clips do I play? So usually real simple, basic stuff. For the kickoff, I'll just use Kraftwerk 400. So pretty much a standard that you're going to hear at sporting events. So. Now remember, I'm doing uh, high school football games, so trying to create an atmosphere and make these kids feel like the game is actually something more than it really is, and just create an experience. And generally, when the defense goes on the field, I'll go ahead and start off with some good old Metallica. In the U.S., it's pretty much a recognizable song, uh, and a lot of football games, a lot of NFL teams will use that as their defense comes on the field. Some of the things that I'll do is my team son's mascot is the Bearcats. Now, I don't know if you know what a Bearcat is, but I certainly don't. But I just kind of had to find a sound that mimicked like what an animal would sound like. So I wound up using this Jaguar one. So whenever they get a first down, uh, the audience will hear this. And it's not always musical clips. So with the team makes a good play or something goes our way, I'll throw a good old Kevin Hart at him. All right, all right, all right. Something that the parents do that you might hear in the video is uh, they have cowbells, so I kind of pulled up this Christopher Walken hit. I could have used a little more cowbell. That usually uh, goes well with all the moms out there. And lastly, whenever the guys score a touchdown, I always play this song, so that way they kind of get used to it and they look forward to hearing it. <laughs> So even the people that don't know the song, it's really easy to get into and start screaming at the top of your lungs when the boys score a touchdown. So using the F1 for this application is pretty straightforward. You can record up to 64 samples. I don't have them all full right now. I just put some together. And as you can see, they're all color coded. And the ones that are colored are the ones that actually have one shots in. So in the event something happens, like guys get a nice play. And as the next play gets ready to start, I'll just fade it out. Having an understanding of the game helps too, and just making sure you're playing the right sound clip at the right time. So a good defensive play. Versus a nice good run by one of the running backs. Run. It allows me to get interactive with the game and kind of drop some old stuff on people that they might have never heard. But in, a, in either event, you know, I'm trying to create memories and create an attitude during the game. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, who doesn't like some biggie? So that's just a quick demo of my walkthrough. If you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns, or Want to know how you can do this for other sporting events? Uh, hit me up in the comments below or shoot us an email at podcast at passionatedj.com. Keep on spinning with passion and purpose. Modingo out.